about the nature of the cross-examining that she was subjected to in this case, the line of questioning she was subjected to? So, I mean, in fact-find hearings, which are, what we, which are like trials, where the allegations are tested, um, his barrister was able to cross-examine her for a day and a half. Uh, and she wrote, Kate Griffiths wrote in an article how difficult that was for her. She was cross-examined, as I say, for a day and a half. And it's a usual line of questioning. Well, why didn't you tell anyone? Why didn't you report it? You didn't go to the police. Therefore, it didn't happen. You're lying. And as Kate responded, she said, well, he told me no one would believe me because I'm an MP. So he used his position of power to silence her and to continue that silencing throughout the relationship and even after it, such that she felt so fearful in speaking out. So for her, when that judgment became public, she said that she felt like a weight had been lifted from her shoulders because no more was she silenced. The world knew what had happened. And that can be very powerful for victims and feeling that they've been heard be quite a cathartic experience for them. And I'm pleased for Kate it was that because I remember calling her after the judgment was published at 2 p.m. on Friday and I said, how do you feel? And she said, I feel free. And that to me just said everything. And I felt like my job is almost done.